No, just the uh, emergency at the hospital on weekends because they can't afford to uh, keep it open 24 uh, 7, so they either opt for the weekends or in the evenings. Uh -huh. But my, my kids are in CAS, and three months ago I was asked if I can send them to them going for preventative chiropractic care. Oh. All foster kids were going for it. Oh, okay. And I said, no, not really. No. That doesn't it, really yeah, make sense. Yeah. 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 And then my the last doctor's appointment with the kids in foster and now said they got a five-year-old and got second in the race. So they complained and have a sore back. Mm -hmm. So they, they refer, the doctor's referring to the chiropractor. Okay. So uh, uh, Google didn't came up uh, for the run of the chiropractic the one that came up was four months in here. Mm -hmm. Chiropractic, they went down and... Can you watch my stuff here yeah. for a second? I just went in and said, I don't have to send to my kids coming here. I might put the chiropractor for the horse and her. Mm -hmm. She's like, well, that's up to the parents in the custody of me. Okay. Without me ever even saying the situation that mm -hmm. um, it gives me a business card. We only hands on... He's got a brand new building there. Mm -hmm. He's only plans on being open 13 and a half hours a week. Okay. That's great. And yet we can't afford to keep an emergency open. Oh, okay. And I, In Chester? Yeah. Oh, and okay. It, yeah, it just doesn't seem right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like my kids have been thrown out and everything. Right. They will really use them under the final money. Like, Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, yeah, that's a possibility. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I run the and they're like, well, that's all very interesting. I don't know what you want me to do about it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so you, you were saying that, that you might be interested in, in blankets? Yeah. 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 I could use a blanket. I'm so, do, do you know, uh, so you're staying where? In a tent. In a tent right now? Do you know if other people are staying in a tent, tents as well? No, 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 no. Not, not around where you are, right? Okay. Yeah. So, basically, the idea was um, to... Uh, here, I, I know that there was there was at least one other guy that was interested. I, I don't know why he didn't come over, but oh, oh I guess he's getting food right now. Um, so one of the things that we could do, uh, we might be able to arrange with the municipality, is if people are staying in tents and uh, we have like. Mm. Oh, okay, abandoned schools. So, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I just, I guess a school is not residential zoning, right? Right. Yeah. Anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Um, it just, I know. I, I was reading the Great County platform, and they were saying that uh, they're planning on building houses, building five years from now. Right, exactly. And uh, that's that's obviously gonna still be a while. Uh, so, meanwhile, since people are already staying in tents, and I know Harrison Park and the Kelso campgrounds are zoned for tents. Uh, so, if, if people were, like, we're pretty sure they weren't going to be able to get an apartment in the next month or two, then uh, they'd be able to sign up with the Harrison Park uh, so that um, the Ontario Works would give the rental portion to Harrison Park and then Harrison Park could provide you with adequate uh, blankets and uh, sleeping bags uh, to make sure that you stay warm in the nights because I know you can get uh, minus 15 or minus 45 rated sleeping bags at Canadian Tire and uh, the rental portion would cover that yeah. right so so, so uh, do you think that that's an option that you might be interested in yeah yeah myself I'm just I, I, I had a house and everything in the last in the year and everything and just because I went through and I did and I was traveling back and forth and I ended up losing 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, uh, I, I just, uh, <coughs> I, I have a new uh, trailer, I can stay out of the journal, but coming up here, I have no other, so I can just run here. Oh, second. Oh, huh? Oh, you you move over there. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so, so you were saying you you had a house before, yeah. and then something happened. Uh, well, uh, yeah. I had it basically up with my kids. Oh, okay. All right. So, so we we have like so other than um, kind of this emergency with the uh, making sure people have adequate sleeping gear so that they stay safe throughout the winter. Uh, we have a longer term uh, plan of uh, intentional communities. And so for about uh, 10 to 15K in total, you'd be able to get a hectare of land on which you could build a tiny home. Uh, and then you can also uh, grow crops there or trees and shrubs uh, for food and stuff like that. And there would be a community aspect, uh, as well as there would be a workshop with um, 3D printers, uh, plastic 3D printers and metal 3D printers, allowing you to make any parts that you need. Yeah. That's a good idea. I don't talk land. Okay. I have written a kind of book We're just doing a, a video on alternative housing solutions, uh, and uh, we're just wondering: Do you know anyone that might still be uh, in, in a tent? Or yeah, okay. And uh, just friends that are in tents. Um, so, and uh, so one of the options that we we have. Uh, that, that might work is because Harrison Park and Kelso Campground are zoned for camping. Uh, if we manage to get the municipality and uh, Service Ontario cooperating, then people would be able to kind of like sign up uh, to, to live in Harrison Park at least, and then for that rental portion, can get the um, sleeping bags, adequate sleeping bags. Uh, that will, or, or the tents, or, or whatever it is that you need, um, because I know the negative 45 rated one is like 300 bucks at uh, Canadian Tire, and the negative uh, 15 one is 150 dollars, and so you'd be able to get that to make sure you stay warm throughout the winter and the nights. Uh, so, so is that something that you, you know that they might be interested yeah. in? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And uh, we also have another uh, kind of a longer term plan with uh, intentional communities. And uh, so the idea there is to have uh, for, for, for about a 10 to 15K, you could get a hectare of land and then uh, build a tiny home. Cool. Yeah. And uh, you'd also be able to grow crops and things like that. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, uh, we we already have uh, a 64 acre property in Aaron Eldersley, uh, but um, 
if, if we get enough people together, we can actually get something closer as well. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, we, we're still working on uh, rezoning it to be a campground cooperative. But uh, it, it, it should work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, so... I don't know if <laughs> there, there's, there's anyone else uh, that might be interested in. Uh, do, uh, are, are, do, do you know if um, do you know anyone that, that might be staying in, in tents right now? Or? Hmm? Uh, uh, West Rocks? Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I was... So one of the options that, that we had was uh, for people uh, could stay in Harrison Park or Kelso campground and then they could sign up with the city so that the Ontario Works would give the park the, uh, the rental portion of the money and then with that money they could get the sleeping gear for the people staying in the tents to make sure they don't freeze in the nights. Yeah. Yeah. So does that seem like a good idea? Yeah. And so we had another uh, kind of a longer term uh, thing, which was um, so if we buy uh, a chunk of vacant land uh, as a cooperative, then people could get it for about 10 to 15k uh, for a hectare of land, and then on it you could have a tiny house, and uh, you could grow uh, crops or uh, trees and shrubs. Uh, to provide all of your calorie and nutrient needs. Uh, but does that sound like something uh, you, you know someone might be interested in, or that, that you'd be interested in? Some people are around the world. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. The, the idea is that these um, communities would also have a, a business element to it, so it should be eligible for the Ontario Works. Um, basically, there would be a 3D, a metal 3D printer, and a plastic 3D printer on site, so that the community could produce various products um, and then sell them. And I don't know, like that, that might cover the whole cost, but if it doesn't, then Ontario Works will be able to uh, kind of supplement it. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, mm -hmm. that, that sounds reasonable. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, that sounds like something with definition. Huh? That sounds like something with definition. Something with definition? Yeah, yeah. The the idea is basically the uh, the age of peace has come, and the easiest way to go into the new paradise timeline okay, is uh, forgiveness, compassion, and unconditional love for all beings. Uh, and 